Joe Turner from Leapfrog Fight TV, and I'm here at Team Underground today in London with the Marley Farmer. Yeah. I've been tipped off by Steve, his coach, to say this is the future Jonathan Haggerty. This Something young, like that. <laughs> <laughs> this young lad is 15 years old, and I've been told that you've got a very, very bright future ahead of you, yeah. young man. Nope. First of all, how are you? Good, very good. Training as always. Feeling happy. Couldn't complain. Can't what's complain. what's life like at the Team Underground gym? Yeah, good. I think. It's probably one of the best gyms in the whole of like, London, whole of UK to be fair. Like training with Big John, seeing what Fred's doing, seeing what Jonathan's doing. You can't not get inspired to do great. You know what I mean? So, yeah. What got you into it? Just out of interest. Uh, trying to lose weight. And I just fell in love with it to be fair. Always training every day. It's like always training. It's always training. What is it about the the gym almost? I know you said you've got a lot of inspiration around you. Yeah. But there's different types of inspiration, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. What what makes it so enjoyable training at this gym? It's been around all the fires, loads of fires. So it's, it's hard not to pick up good skills and good attributes, you know what I mean? So take a bit from it, like everyone's style. So add it to your own. What age did you start competing? Uh, 14. 14? Oh, yeah. so you haven't been doing it long? Yeah, no. Four, seven months of training now, my first fight. Title fight. I won it. Get in. Yeah. So it almost... It's another thing, kind of stepping into a gym like this, because yeah. it is. This is a fighters' gym. Yeah, Team yeah. Underground is known for being a producing good fighters, yeah. right? It's another thing getting in here, getting used to the training, losing weight, like you said. Yeah. What made you think? Do you know what? I'm gonna have a go at this now. Having my first fight, like after I won the belt, I had a taste for it. Like I had a proper taste for it, so just kept going back, kept training, and like just love it. Just get more belts. That's it. Keep adding. What's it, what's it like to almost, if you could describe what it's like to win a, a title fight or even a normal fight to someone that's never stepped foot in a gym before, how would you do it? Just a buzz. Like, there's there's like, no word to describe it. It's like a buzz. Like it's a high you don't want to get off of. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just constantly want to be have that feeling. That feeling is the best, to be fair. Like, it's just, it gives good, good feeling. So like, like you said, you've had five fights now. Yeah. We're in January. Before the end of the year, would you want to say, do you know what, I've done it? WBC title. WBC? Yeah. Okay, that's a nice goal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And how would you kind of, how would you think you're going to achieve that goal? Fighting the best people. Even even with five fights, it don't matter. Like, if, you can, if you can fight well, you can fight well. So it don't matter how much fights you've had. And yeah. Everyone can get it. Anyone, <laughs> anyone can get it. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> so we've, we've said by the end of the year, yeah. right, you're 15 now. Yeah. When you're 20 years old, and this is a question that kind of throws a lot of people off, but it's not the end of your career. Yeah, it's the start. Just the start. When you're 20 years old, where do you want to be? On championship champion. Big goal. Big, very young age, but I think I can do it. With hard work, dedication, I've got the best team around me. So I believe it's achievable, yeah. You've definitely got people around you that are certainly achieving yeah, that yeah. goal. So the sky's the limit. Yeah, that's it. Literally, the sky's the limit. So we've got the one championship goal, all right? How do you feel about the MMA gloves? Does it suit uh, you? Do you think it will suit your style? Yeah, I think it will suit, suit my style, yeah. Because you've got a lot of MMA guys down here in general at Team Underground. Yeah. You've got a lot of the guys that can mix it up in eight ounce gloves or four ounce gloves. Yeah. Is there, yeah, is that, do you think that's something that you think, you're 15? Yeah. Right, but do you think that's something you'll excel in? Because uh, the Team Underground style is very yeah, like, yeah. aggressive, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I reckon I could do it. Yeah, I reckon I could do it, but conquer everyone, everything in Thai boxing. And bit like, yeah, conquer everything in Thai boxing. And then maybe one day, yeah, achieve everything in Thai, like, what I want to do. And then MMA, get dealt with as well. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I reckon I could do it. But obviously, what's life like in general, training as a 15 year old? Like, <sighs> because it must be hard. You've obviously got a lot of distractions. distractions. Yeah, loads of distractions. A lot of distractions. So, how do you almost keep yourself in the gym? hard but I just I just always think back to the passion I have for it and the goals that I want to achieve in it so that keeps me grounded like keeps me here like away from all the distractions you know what I mean so yeah so next fight have we got any fights arranged or anything like that no yeah, hopefully we any... have some fight. yeah I think then in the talks of me matching me yeah so yeah sweet ass man yeah right I really appreciate your time thank you you're the man. And I'm looking forward to seeing where your career goes. I'm so excited. I've That's heard it. such good things about you. Yeah.
It's going to kick off, bro. It's going to kick off. It's going to kick off. 